What's up guys and welcome back to another video. This is Mirage T-Side where I will show you everything you need to know to make your games fast and easy. And without further ado, let's get started. To start off with, I will show you the instant mid smoke, the instant window smoke from T spawn. From this spawn where I am, you can throw from this spawn or this spawn here. We'll start with this where I am now. Look up to the top against the wall here. You see this little railing. Just look for the red area. Imagine there's a field there, like a triangle field area like that. Just go right in the middle. So aim with your crosshair as shown and then W jump throw. Smoke goes nicely over the middle, lands perfectly inside of the window. Pops and doesn't let the enemy offer any chance to get an easy frag on you or your teammates when you take mid control. Next up will be the second instant mid smoke from the very left and far left spawn. First off, look to the window here and you see this little crack in the wall and the little dot there. Just go right in between on the middle there. So aim with the cross as shown, a bit of practice if you remember it, fairly easy. And then just W jump throw again. <laughs> Smoke goes nicely over the building and will land perfectly inside of the middle, smoking off the window. No chance for the enemy AWPer to peek you and catch you off your cross to mid. If neither you or your teammates have the opportunity to go for the instant smokes, because none of you got the spawn there, you can do it alternatively. The fastest way I found was to get at this trash bin here. Look up towards this door frame there and follow it all the way down to the bottom, just where it meets this edge of the wall there and then shift walk while you're crouching until you hit this darker area down there just need to get a bit of practice and then you should get a hang of it and all in all this should look something like this stay crouched while jumping and let go of your smoke default crouch jump throw and there you have the window smoke and nobody can pick you no chance for the orb to catch you off mid Okay, next up we have the connector smoke. The connector smoke is a bit tricky. It has to be high enough so nobody from the triple box on A can see you cross the short if you wish to do so. The best way I found out is just get on this step here on the second one, align yourself with the edge of the step, turn around, look for this pipe there, go exactly for the go for the crouch and go exactly for the middle. There is a little darker area here, so a bit more left than the middle maybe. Stand up and then just jump to throw your smoke. Easy as that. Smoke goes nicely inside connector and lands on the third step, which is an important factor. And as you can see, there's no areas here open. You cannot spot anything, nothing with the AWP to peek and no information. If you shift through, get your window smoke and get your con smoke and you can easy contact down to B. Next up, we have a flashbang, which you can throw to perfectly peak connector and get a bit of control there, even a bit of action towards the short player there to push them back, laying in ladder or shot on the boost box. First off, get behind these double boxes in the top mid, take out your flash, and then after that, you look for this area here. There's like the antenna where it hangs there and then just left click the flash there. As you can see, the flashbang goes perfectly for the connector player. Even the players standing down here will not be aware of this flash either. Enemies standing here will get affected by the flash and on top of this boost as well. So easy there for you to take mid control. Next up, while you're at the top boxes anyway and you have did the flash for your teammate, you can go for the smoke. To re-smoke window, once you've had a fight in the middle, the smoke will be faded and you can just re-smoke window. First off, look for this antenna up here. Follow it all the way up to the top of this, like that, so it aligns together mid-air. And then just left click the smoke, a bit higher, a bit lower, doesn't really matter. Hasn't Doesn't have to be too pixel perfect and it will land perfectly into the window, re-smoking window to give you a bit more time to keep and take your mid control. Next up, if you fancy to go to A, give your mate the connector flash. You can go a bit safe and supportive with the smoke. First off, same position here. Go for the smoke, go for the flash. You can re-smoke the middle and window and you can go here to this triangle to smoke off short. Or imagine this would be a triangle, just go in the middle of that and then just left click the smoke. Easy as that, smoke goes perfectly into short. 
nice new CS2 smoke, so they evolve in both directions equally, goes perfectly against the wall and covers off short, so you and your teammates can advance through to connector towards A. Okay, next up, we will go over some utility for the A site. First off, we have some smokes from here. First off, the top con smoke. Get up to this area here, align yourself with the pole there. Look for this darker dot on the wall or on this, I don't know what this is, some hay, some roof from the roof edges there, and then just jump for the smoke. Smoke goes perfectly over the buildings has a little bounce and lands perfectly in front of the top connector so you can go for a bit more control towards stairs there combine it with the ct and the jungle smoke and the a site belongs to you next up we have a ct smoke not one of the shitty ones the good one that lands on top of the boxes in ct which doesn't allow the orb to peek on the top of the boxes to get you and catch you off on site first off same position as before with the top connector smoke get yourself in front of this beam here throw your connector smoke and then following lineups here aim with the cross as shown there's a little white area here go to the very left of this white area and then just press w and d at the same time plus obviously jump through your smoke and all in all this should look something like this smoke goes a bit further right perfectly past the building and lands on top of these boxes smoking off the ct area going a bit higher and then no orb can peek you there on top of the boxes easy for you to take a site control if you're not too keen on throwing the smoke from up there with the W and D combination, no problem. You can throw it from down here as well. As I mentioned, you can get in front of this wall here, look for this metal beam up the top there, aim right in the middle of this metal beam, and then just jump through the smoke. Smoke goes past the building, bounces on the floor, and perfectly on top of the box, smoking off CT perfectly, so no orb can peek you on top of the CT box to make it easy for you and your team to get onto a site. Next up, we have the stairs smoke. I know it's a default smoke. Everybody should know this, but if you do not, I'll show you anyway. First off, get on to this area here, align yourself in the middle of this, and then look for this area in the sky. So just imagine this is a square or rectangle, go in the middle of this, and then just left click your smoke. Smoke bounces off Tetris, lands perfectly on top of stairs. Smoking, even smoking off Tetris a little bit, just so the palace players don't get peaked by Tetris and leaves no room for enemy players on the stairs to peek you and catch you off your cross to sight. Okay, next up we have the jungle smoke. We'll throw it from down here. I don't lo like to throw in this jungle smoke from up there because there leaves a lot of room for mistakes and gaps. This one I found is perfect and lands without any issues and no gaps. First off, align yourself with the right side of the right frame next to this door. Then you look up here in the sky, there's this little dark dot there and the edge up here. So if you move your crosshair so it is perfectly aligned like that. So aim with your crosshair as shown and then just jump through your smoke. Smoke does a nice high fly, bounces perfectly off the stairs and lands right in the middle between the stairs and the wall here, leaving no room for gaps there. Combine it with your stairs smoke and your CT smoke and it gives you an easy A control for you and your team. Next up, we have another CT smoke. If you've got a bit of A control, maybe you planted the bomb and the smoke on CT is fading, you want to re-smoke CT, you can do this by going into Tetris, this corner up here, look up to the building there, and then just go to the tippy top of this left wooden beam. There's like three, okay, the middle wooden beam there, uh, or the left one of this wall, just there, right on tippy top of that, left click the smoke. Smoke will bounce off the wall and land perfectly in the CT. Resmoking CT. It doesn't cover up the top box or ticket perfectly, but as an alternative, as a resmoke, I think it's fine and does its job. So enjoy that one. Resmoking CT to take a bit longer for your enemies to retake. Next up, we have a Molotov. If you do not have a stairs smoke, don't want a stairs smoke, or you maybe think someone could be in between sandwich, then this is for you. Get into this corner, be aware enemies can't pick you from stairs and close, so if you have a teammate there supporting you, that would be ideal. Go for the crouch and look for these three wooden beams up the top there. The very bottom one you need, and all the way to the left, just left click your molly while crouching, lands perfectly on there, burns out the sandwich area here, and depending on how it evolves, sometimes it does go a bit further 
are downstairs as you can see the black area burns around this area there and gives you a bit of more info control and it has to be for the sandwich player if so peek out in the open granting you with an easy frag next up we will have some smokes covered for the b site first off the default window smoke everybody knows this one or should know this one get into this corner here look at the top of this building just on the tippy top of the corner there and then just jump through your smoke smoke goes nicely over the building and will land perfectly into the window on the ledge and covering off everything there no vision for your enemies at your cross to sight because I am a fan of efficiency and I like people who can throw two smokes from different positions from the same position, we've got this one for you for elbow. First off, get into the same corner here as before. Look for this window, there's three windows. Go to the very right window, just the tippy top of that window and then just jump for a smoke. Smoke goes nicely over the building and will land perfectly inside of elbow or in front of elbow in the corner there, covering off this area here. So no vision there for your enemies to spot you and your teammates crossing towards site. The last smoke from this position will be a smoke for short. You've done your window smoke, you've done your elbow smoke, and then you look for the far left of the building just off this edge there be aware don't throw it against the building i just i'm not too far left or it won't bounce correctly so aim with your cross as shown bit of practice get the hang of it just left click your smoke there it bounces perfectly off the building and lands nicely into short after it evolves it will cover everything perfectly and will cover your cross out of apps nobody can peek you be aware they can boost over the smoke here from short but that's not very likely because normally you have one short player and one side player so nobody there to boost the enemy on the box which saves you and gets you a bit more time to get towards site next up we have another three smokes all thrown from the same position depends on the type of execute you want to have you can throw either the three from here or from here first off get into this area up here then look for this leaf and go right in the middle between the leaf and the building like that and then left click the smoke that will be the smoke for the right arch to cover off short there it will land a bit deeper because it bounces off the beam there but that means it also covers off that area up here which is pretty good because i can't see you crossing through apps with this smoke maybe jump spotting but that was it but all in all nobody should see you and it will cover your cross to sight the next one will be thrown from the same position as i said the last two smokes of the video will be thrown from here as well so this one same one as before instead of throwing here you go on top of the building go a bit higher just so you're above these leaves so like a centimeter there just get a bit of practice get a feeling for it and then jump for your smoke smoke goes over the building and will land nicely on the other side of the arches bounce there combine it with the right side arch smoke combine it with the left one and you have a perfect wall of smokes to cover you and your teammates to cross the site last but not least i have another fancy smoke which is thrown from the same position here i like to throw this in my games because it gets me a lot of kills and nobody expects this first off go for the crouch and then look for these two metal beams you go to the bottom one follow it up to the top so it aligns with the top beam and then you just stand up after your crosshair is about as mine then jump for your smoke and the smoke will do a nice fly and bounce right on top of this edge up here evolving very strangely but it does cover off bench mostly you can fight around the smoke obviously enemies can stand behind this area no problem you for you to molly behind bench but you've got a lot of room you can work around with the smoke and because it evolves like this you can actually just aim over it towards bench and nobody can spot you getting out of apps you can focus yourself to short or to sight just a bit of something you can play around with and get some great frags okay guys that was it for the video don't forget to like and subscribe for more epic content in the future and i'll see you in the next one